Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let us discuss some of the project related questions that our subscribers are facing and in answering them. Okay, again, these questions are shared by a subscriber and uh, um, I want to sincerely thank them uh, for the you know support they are providing or the questions that are sharing, which is helping a lot of our viewers. So without wasting much time, let us get started. So while I share my text file, if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe, please do share and please do like. Okay. So this was the first question that was asked to him. I think, you know, he was like little skeptical how to answer. I think many of us have faced this kind of questions. How do end users approach you? One very important question that we all need to know actually. So like whoever is working in real time, I mean, they, they might answer, you know, at least something to this question, but what about those who are not working or who are working in a different tool where they want to upskill or where they are learning and move, trying to move. So we also need to know. So first is end users might approach you with a requirement, same like this, or they might share you, uh, like they will tell you, okay, uh, Hari, please, you know, do this or, you know, Rahul, you know, uh, create one donut chart with a filter on that. And I want uh, uh, for 2020, year 2020, something like that, they can talk talk, or give in a requirement document or like say a requirement document can be shared to build the dashboard. for the dash dashboard or sometimes user can also reach you with a specific problem like say uh, you know rahul my dashboard filtering is not working or i'm seeing some additional values uh, extra values or something extra they are seeing in the report which is not expected or you know, the color, some they are seeing some extra colors on the dashboard, or there is a misalignment. So all of these issues can pop up and end user might reach you. So why they will reach you? Because you are the owner of that dashboard, or you are the person who has published that dashboard, or you are the person who is taking care of that dashboard. So they might use, uh, they might reach you to either solve an existing problem or they might reach you with an ad hoc request. So these are the some of the things that we can answer for this question. Very important you know, point to you know remember. Okay. So if you are not writing it down, write down this question in somewhere in your diary so that whenever this question comes up, you can answer. Now let us move on to uh, the second important question that is that has been asked. What is your pipeline with clients? So I think here the interviewer is trying to ask, like, you know, how do you interact with the client? You know, how is the communication channel? You know, is, like, you know, are you directly interacting? Like some, in some cases we directly interact, like, you know, uh, you will be part of uh, the team meeting and the client will also be the part of team meeting. And uh, you, uh, you will directly, you know, share what the problem you are facing and all. In some cases you will inform your lead what the problem is again lead will go back and lead will first verify okay if whatever you're telling is valid or not uh, is there issue from your end or it is the uh, issue from you know uh, someone else and uh, and if if it has and if it is necessary to be taken to client then only that will be taken to client and that will be discussed it is like that so this is the communication channel that is been established so like you know for not all the cases you can directly reach out to client you have to first see if you can solve that issue without reaching to the client in in cases where you cannot solve or where you need clients interruption only in that cases you will reach out to client so that is the pipeline we can talk about here. Okay. How do you establish a communication here? The so next important uh, thing that was asked is once you complete your dashboard, what is the next step? Again, I think this uh, is something that many of us have in our mind. What do we do once we develop the dashboard? Okay. So first thing that I always do is a testing. Okay. Second is 
क्रिएट अ टेस्ट केस डॉक्यूमेंट ओके आफ्टर दैट एंड यूजर्स विल टेस्ट क्यूए टेस्टिंग ओके एंड देन माइग्रेशन so this this will be the general process that can be followed once you build your dashboard so you have to do complete you know sample testing you have to do you have to verify the data and then you have to create a documentation on top of that and then qa team will test your report and then when they sign off you have to migrate okay so next is again related to the above point only so once you are done with the once you done with your dashboard who will move it to production again this question i think many of us have in our mind like who will do migration and whether we do or someone else will take care and all uh, so for most of the cases the one who develops report will move it to production simple or different environments okay again it is like company to company basis or it, it depends from project to project in some cases there will be a separate team who will take care of migration like you will raise a request or uh, you know different companies follow different you know uh, structure in migrating uh, right okay so you have to remember so, but most of the cases the common uh, procedure we follow is uh, developers who develop reports will have permissions to move it to different environments like from development to qa and qa to uh, prod like this okay so simply you will move once the report is asked to move not like you know you are moving it on your own no you need to get the proper approvals always make sure whenever you are moving to production you are having proper approvals otherwise they will screw you without any you know confirmation you are moving to product production means no one will you know you'll get escalation so you will need to make sure you have all the approvals or permissions to move report to production so specifically i am talking about production here other environments it's okay like you know fine even if you do you can delete it but production you cannot directly simply you cannot move it anything to that because it is a production system okay next is how do you know how to publish sorry do you know how to publish the dashboard into server okay either you can simply tell me as yes or you can answer the steps like log into the server and click on publish like that so if i go here click on server and first you need to sign into the server that you need to publish the report and then you can click on publish workbook and then select the path that you need or the folder that you want to publish workbook and click on workbook so you can always talk about those steps here in this so pretty easy question i think we should be able to answer this one next is how do you set extract refresh or refresh extract for published workbooks i think yeah scheduling extract so if you have the privileges at a server level you might have the option to schedule a report uh, i think i'll i'll paste the link for this uh, in the description box please make sure you watch that okay so we already have this in our channel okay so like what kind of sources do you connect in extract so sources is like you know whenever we connect to any data source and we convert it into extract so it is mostly of tabular format so i'm not sure you know what uh, the subscriber was really asked here next is end to end process from sql server to publish workbook so like here uh, i think the interviewer wants to know how do you so first is writing sql okay and validating that in your sql workbench in your sql workbench if it is working fine or not then coming to 
tableau and you know creating custom sql and pasting it there comma validating if the query is working or not that is the second step that we do so once it is successfully connected okay so you need to go to uh, you can rename your connection name rename connection name to whatever the name you want to so that you can identify it next to that is after that you can uh, apply any filters if required or do some data cleansing if required or derive some fields if required again all of this is optional but still i'm still i'm telling you derive some fields okay so once all of this is done you can probably click on create a new sheet option and from here your development activity will start okay so once you develop sheets like multiple sheets and then putting them into create a dashboard i'm writing okay create new dashboard according to client requirement so once that is done again testing okay and then migrating and then then this supporting so you can talk about this 10 steps whenever you are uh, telling about the end to end process of this okay so end, end to end process from sql server to publish workbook okay so migration means like moving to different environments so to move means to publish only okay and then after moving to production environment you need to support for few days because the production users might not know what you have done so until and unless it becomes stable in the environment you need to hold their hands and tell them ki boss everything is working fine like that so once they feel comfortable okay you can move on to next okay so next question is have you you have developed some sql query you need to put that sql query in tableau to fetch the information from tableau how do you do that okay so maybe we might need to customize it according to our requirement okay what is the order of operation in tableau i think the filter of our execution we all know if not i'll you know give a document you can definitely refer to next is when you when do you consider taking having clause in your sql script okay so sql having clause is used always with your aggregation okay so remember that okay i think these were the questions that were asked and that's it from my side in this video i hope you like it if you like it please like share and subscribe thank you have a good day bye bye